All right, you guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, I am your host, Slim910. Today, you guys, I want to go back and do another TCL 4K video for you guys. I know a lot of times I've done two videos talking about the TV itself, and then I did one with my settings. Um, a lot of times, like I said, I go online and I try to read people's reviews and things like that, go on websites to see what settings they're using, try to get to the best picture I can. I talked about how I didn't want to get the TV calibrated through Geek Squad or anything like that because it's not an expensive TV. If it was something like an LG, LG OLED TV, maybe I would do it, but it's a five dollars $600 TV, so I don't feel like I want to pay over $100 to get that done. Um, after some tinkering and going online and things like that, I have found what I think is the best setup, and I'm going to share it with you guys today. Um, on the screen right now are the expert settings that I'm using for calibration and I'll tell you guys how to input that into your TV because you can't do it through the TV. You need the Roku mobile app. But first off, let's, starting, uh, let's start off in our settings. So you want to turn your TV to brightness, to the very bright setting, or you can do brighter. Um, when you guys start off, please do this in a dark room. Um, it's going to give you a better look at the picture and everything to get it set up. So you want to turn your TV to brightness to bright. Picture mode, you can set it to normal. Your picture size, direct, so that there's no change and it shows the full picture with anything that you're watching. Audio effect, you can keep it normal. I mean, most people aren't going to use this TV's um, speakers anyway because they're pretty terrible. So you pretty much are going to need a sound bar. Um, sleep timer, your preference. You're going to scroll down to your advanced picture settings. Click on that. Picture most is going to be a uh, movie. Make sure you change this to movie. Dynamic contrast is off. When you turn it on, um, most of the time it's just going to distort your picture. It's not really helping, so turn it off. Backlight, you're going to turn it all the way down to 26. Brightness, you can take it to 50. Contrast, bump that sucker all the way up to 100 to adjust the intensity of white parts in your image. Sharpness, you can turn it down. I do see some people turning it up. Some people will turn it all the way up. Uh, color, keep it at 50, um, your minimal setting. Tint, you can turn down to zero. Color temperature is actually also important as well. You want to take it to warm. Game mode, um, I keep it off. This determines your input lag when gaming. I do qu quite a bit of gaming. Right now I'm on Battlefield 1 thanks to EA Access and its early play trial settings. Um, you get 10 hours of play time if you've got EA Access, so it's a pretty good deal. Um, so game mode off and on. It's not To me, it doesn't really matter. I'm not MLG Pro or anything like that, so I can't really see the difference in the input lag, whether it's on or off, so I don't even mess with it. So it's up to you guys to turn that on or off when you're gaming. All right, so back to um, the settings that's on the screen. Your expert picture settings, how to get to those. You cannot get to it through the TV as you just saw. So what you need to do is download, go to Google Play and download the Roku mobile app. Once you download that, it's going to ask you for your Roku sign in. And then through the internet connection, it's going to um, link up with your TV. So it's going to tell you, you're going to click on that with your TV. Then once you're all signed in and you're at the start screen of that mobile app, if you look in the top right corner, you'll see three horizontal bars. Click on that and it's going to take you to settings. Look down at the bottom, click on uh, settings. And then at the top, you'll see your Roku TV with, I believe, your ISP uh settings as well. Once you click on that, you're going to see it's going to say expert picture settings. Click on that and then you'll be able to change these numbers that you see on the screen. Um, you can tinker with this if you want to. I mean, I notice sometimes the term, with whichever movie I'm watching, like I recently watched X-Men Apocalypse. Sometimes to me, the flesh tones were a little too much red or orange. So you can um, play with these settings. You can reset them if you want. As you can see right here, it says reset color management values. You can click that if you're not happy with the settings or if you know what these um, different colors and percentages are, 
you can fluctuate these numbers to get it to where you want to. You guys know that everybody's eyes are not the same. So what I may like, you may not like. Um, that's why it's pretty important when you go to get a TV, say you go to Best Buy, H.H. Gregg or something like that. You want to actually see what that picture looks like. Yes, a lot of times those everything, all the settings are bumped up for the brightest of the brights and the darkest of the darks so that it can kind of persuade you to buy that TV. But sometimes you just need to take it home, play with it for a few days. Every store has its own return policy. Take a look at their policy before purchasing. Take it home and see what it looks like if you're really that much into picture quality and things like that. It's all up to you and what you want to do. Um, I could say probably Costco is one of the best ones I know. I think they have like almost a 90 day return policy. So if you got Costco, that's definitely a good place to pick up an electronic. Um, if you're out searching for a 4K TV, try um, a lot of times I uh, browse slick deals to see who's got anything on sale, anything like that. There's a lot of websites you can go to for deals and things like that. So once again, you guys, these are the expert picture settings that I'm using. I can leave the link in there so you can get back to this if you don't want to pause this video or anything like that. But once again, you guys, thanks for watching. I am Slim910. Thank you to my subscribers that I have and those that are viewing. Uh, leave me a like, subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Um, leave comments, questions, anything like that. I love uh, reaching back out to people that have the same interests that I do. Um, thanks again for... Thanks again, guys, for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.